Hey guys, how you doing today? Today I am recording on my phone, uh, my LinkedIn hard mode challengers. I've got another piece of guidance for you that probably should have given you like a month ago. Today, I'm going to continue my personal crusade to get everyone to be more personal and to network better on LinkedIn. And the way we're going to do that today is we're going to talk about the surprisingly tricky art of requesting a connection on the mobile app with a message. And I know a lot of people kind of struggle with this because I get a whole lot of connection requests with no message. And I will die on this hill or in this trench or whatever combat metaphor you want to use that you should always send a message with your connection requests. Okay, so we're going to go straight up to our search bar and we're going to find some people to connect with. And I've just searched these people at random earlier other than one that should be obvious. But we're going to start with our man Jeff Smith here. Okay, so Jeff Smith is from San Antonio, Texas. Looks like we got a couple of mutual connections. The important thing about Jeff Smith is that Jeff does not have creator mode turned on. And this is how you're going to see most people. You're going to see this big blue connect button right here, and it's going to be so tempting. I'm telling you, stay away from that big blue button. That is the easy button. We don't want to take the easy way out. We want to come over here to the right to these three little dots. And if I hover over it, it says more options. We definitely want more options. When I click that, it brings up this menu. Now, it's not super obvious which one you want to pick. Come down here to personalize invite. That doesn't exactly scream connection request, does it? Okay, the terminology is a little vague and that's annoying, but that's what you want. Okay, personalize invite. Craft your message, send your message. Go back to my other uh, big hit video, the one with a thousand views. Thank you very much, everybody. That will teach you how to craft that message, but basically you just want to sell yourself and convince Jeff, hey, I'm a good person to connect with. All right, now we're going to back out. See you later, Jeff. And we're going to come over here to our friend Lisa. Now, I don't know Lisa. Lisa was a product of a random search for me. But the important thing about Lisa is she actually has creator mode turned on, but she doesn't have her privacy settings ratcheted up, okay? So when you see someone with creator mode, you're going to know them. You're going to see these five favorite hashtags up top. It's going to show their follower count as well as their 500 plus connections. And they are going to have almost always have this big blue follow button up. Now you want to avoid that follow button. And here's why. If you click follow, all that's going to happen is you're going to see Lisa's content in your timeline. She is not going to see yours. You can't exchange messages. She's probably not going to give you a referral, all that sort of thing. You're never going to send her a message and get to know her. So once again, three dots on the right. If you want to connect with Lisa, which you do, you click the personalized invite. And then the process from there is the same. Now, there's only one time that it gets slightly more complicated, and as usual, we're going to use our good buddy Tim Tebow to demonstrate this. Now, obviously, Tim is a celebrity. He's a thought leader. He's actually quite present on LinkedIn, um, so he's, he's a pretty good follow. But again, we want to have a connection with Tim because we just want to know celebrities. So avoid the big blue follow button. That's the easy way out. We're going to challenge ourselves and we're going to, nope, we're not going to do that. We're going to go over to these three little dots. We're going to personalize invite. Now, the problem with this is that Tim is a celebrity and Tim does not want the avalanche of connection requests that I'm sure he would get if he didn't have his privacy settings up. So he's got his privacy settings up. And in order to even request a connection with Tim, you've got to enter his email address. I don't know Tim's email address. So sadly, we will not be connecting with Tim today. Well, guys, uh, that should pretty much cover all the bases. If I've forgotten anything, please point that out to me. Guys, I love geeking out on this stuff. Um, I appreciate everybody for supporting the channel. I'm blown away that I now have 100 subscribers. That's crazy to me. Uh, like I said, there were 1,000 views on the uh, video about crafting a message. So please go back to that if you have any questions. Um, hop on into the comment section of this video. Let me know what other topics you'd like to see me cover. This is kind of my area of expertise, and I will talk about it all day long, but we're going to keep this video short. Appreciate it, guys. Subscribe, and we'll talk to you later.